a syllable is not just a phenomenon of molecules touching each other and going through the air. There is history, even cosmic history, in a syllable. Even between human beings, the consent given when a lady accepts a proposal of marriage has effects over eternity. Children can be born from an acceptation of this kind. I will, I do, these are sacramental words which have an effect in church. And so too on the level of the soul. A young man before the tabernacle might feel gently invited and he in his heart of hearts says, I will. And from there contacts a vocations director and the process goes on. And down the line the bishop uses sacramental words coupled with sacramental power coming from the upper room to ordain. But the will cannot be forced. It can also be withdrawn. Priests who pull back afterwards. It has to be maintained at all times. In France we were taught that one principle of maintaining the chant was to hold it up with both hands, meaning by that to, to keep the chant from going down off key with tiredness will always have to be pushing up. It's the same with the will. We cannot afford to take our foot off the accelerator. It's just too dangerous. We grind to a halt from friction. Years ago, in 1974, when spending the summer as a student at La Trappe, I was deeply moved by some of the abbot's homilies in chapter very early in the morning before Lord's. And one time he commented this gospel of the angel. He explained how grace is coming to us how the Lord is coming to us all through the day. And he presented to us the mystery of even the bell. The big church bell rings out, and even la petite sonnerie, the little electric bell that goes also within the house to warn. This is the angel coming to us, wanting us to leave, sine mora, without delay, whatever we're doing, and to respond to the divine will. If one carries on doing what one at that point should not be doing anymore, then one is working for the devil and not gaining merit. The divine will wants the consent of the will at that point, and if it's there, grace will come and merit. Time has its invitation to do certain things at certain times, and when things are done at the wrong time, we're not gaining merit, they're out of control. And therefore the will has to handle all kinds of control buttons, television buttons, computer buttons, phone buttons. The will must be in control and not be controlled, otherwise time is out of order and the will is not in command of it. God cannot get through. The angel found this virgin of Sion kneeling in prayer, receptive, calm and open. She was taken aback. I wonder what the angel looked like. Very majestic, one presumes. It was the Archangel Gabriel. St. Bernard of Carbeau, whom we love to hear at La Trappe as one of our own, meditates on the scene. He has a picture 
of the whole cosmos waiting, also on bended knee, for one syllable. The angel, he says, is waiting for your answer. It is time for him to return to God who sent him. We too are waiting, O lady, for the word of pity. Even we were overwhelmed in wretchedness by the sentence of damnation. Here there's a perfect balance between the sentence of damnation and the word of pity. And behold, to you the price of our salvation is offered. If you consent, straight away shall we be freed. In the eternal word of God were we all made, and lo, we die. By one little word of yours, in answer, shall we all be made alive. And then he goes on into a great crescendo. Adam asks this of you, O loving virgin. Poor Adam, exiled as he is from paradise with all his poor wretched children. Abraham begs this of you. And David, this all the holy fathers implore, even your fathers who themselves are dwelling in the valley of the shadow of death. This the whole world is waiting for, kneeling at your feet. And rightly so, for on your lips is hanging the consolation of the wretched, the redemption of the captive, the speedy deliverance of all who otherwise are lost. In a word, the salvation of all Adam's children, of all your race. Answer, O Virgin, answer the angel speedily. Rather, through the angel, answer your Lord. Speak the word and receive the word. Offer what is yours and conceive what is of God. Give what is temporal and embrace what is eternal. And the crescendo goes on and then it comes to a maximum and concludes with but one word. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Fiat. it done to me according to your word. The angel gave me from heaven came. His wings as drifted snow, his eyes as flame. Oh, hail, said he, thou now 